Hi, let's take a look at the new features in the Atlassian CLI 10.0. With version 10.0 of the ACLI, we've introduced a new shell that guides you through creating actions and filling in the parameters to get work done faster. To get a sense of the improvements, let's first take a look at the traditional way of working with actions in the ACLI. In this case, I want to connect to an instance I've saved as Jira 12. What I want to do is add a component to a project. I first have to remember what the action name is. Fortunately, I've looked this up ahead of time, and it's Add Component. I've also looked at the documentation to know that I have to specify a project name. I know that my project name is APPF, short for AppFire. And of course, I have to specify what component I want to add, which I'll call New Comp. So if I type these inputs correctly, I will add a new component called new comp to my project called APPF. I hit return and huzzah, I did it correctly. Now let's see how this could work with the new ACLI shell. I'll start again with ACLI in JIRA 12, but instead of typing out the rest of the commands, I'm going to hit return. That drops me into the shell. The shell has looked at JIRA 12 and determine that this is a Jira Cloud instance, and it knows how to help me. I open with dash A as before to initiate an action, but the shell prompts me with a list of available actions for me to choose from. Now, let's say I don't remember the exact name of the action I want. Was it delete component or remove component? So I'll just start by typing component, and the shell starts giving me the list of related actions. I press tab to get into the list and delete component is what I want to use. Now that the CLI knows which action I want to take, it provides me with a list of available parameters and I see project and component at the top are required to run this action. If I couldn't remember the exact name of the project I wanted, I would have to interrupt my task at hand to go look that information up in JIRA. In this case, I simply hit space and the shell has looked up my JIRA projects for me. I press tab to get down into the menu and then spacebar after I've chosen my project. There's one more required parameter, so I choose component. I'll tab in again and then hit the spacebar. Once again, the shell looks up the available components. I only have the one new comp. Now, there are more parameters I can use, but today I'll just hit return. And my component is now deleted. So we've gone from having to remember or go back and forth between applications and documentation to remember what actions and parameters to use and look up the values for those parameters to now instead relying on the ACLI shell to guide us to find those actions we want to use and show us how to use them. Much, much faster. So check it out and see what the ACLI shell can do for you.